Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the volley, both the backhand volley and the forehand volley. And I want to show you an essential technique that if you can apply to your game, will make your volley strike much cleaner, much more powerful and much more precise. And then I'm going to show you a great way of practicing this and getting the feel of it so that you can apply it to your game almost immediately. Now, when we volley, the natural thing to do is to volley across the line of the ball. If the ball's coming straight at us, then there's no other way. There's no alternative. So you have to volley across the line of the ball. But on my backhand volley here, the racket's on the outside here. And now it's on the other side of the body. This is a good backhand volley, but it can mean that I'm going to be tending to miss hit as I swing across the line of the ball. The same on the forehand volley here. I begin here and come into the body. So it's very easy for me to swing across the line of the ball and make a slicey choppy motion where the ball floats up or just slows down. Either which way, it's too easy for the opponent. Great volleyers hit dead clean volleys. There's almost a, a hard sound as they make contact with the ball. And the difference between their technique and most of the players who are watching this video is how long they keep the racket in a straight line through the stroke. So the great volleyer will stay in line here and then come across. On the backhand, they'll stay in the line here and then come across. If you look at this from the side, then what happens is as I make the volley, you can only see the frame of my racket until the very end. See here, natural, see how you don't see the frame of the racket for anything more than a fraction of a second. And now you're seeing the strings. But if you look at a Federer type volley, you see the frame of the racket for a long time through the stroke. And now I've come across the line. So we need to make sure that we're swinging straight through the ball in this way. This can be quite difficult to apply, but a fantastic way of achieving this is to actually swing with a racket with no strings. So the ball comes through, and now if I swing across the line of the ball, then I'm going to start clipping the frame. But if I swing straight through the ball, then the ball's going to pass straight through the racket frame, and I'm going to achieve perfect technique. So we practice for a little while with a racket with no strings, and then we go back to a more traditional racket with strings, and you'll find then that you're swinging straight through the ball naturally and you'll have a cleaner and more powerful contact with the ball. I hope this makes sense. Try it now. Let me know how it works in your game. And if you like my ideas, check out our other services online. We're helping people in over 40 countries all over the world with one-to-one -one online training. It's a truly unique service. For more information, email us or have a look at the website. Or check out our books on Amazon. We have books on every aspect of the game and they're a real teaching experience with very clear illustrations Everything is designed to help you become the best tennis player you can be. So stop swinging across the line of the ball. Stop chopping, stop slicing, stop slowing the volley down. And swing straight through the volley. And you'll have a powerful, aggressive and accurate weapon when you're at the net. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.